Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, beloved beings of eternal light and infinite life. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have a very special teaching transmission recording here for you today. I've never done before. Why am I doing it today? Because the time is right. Many powerful energies coming in, many changes coming, great things to come. So we go through this ascension process and shift together. So this video today, we're going to cover s several updates, several new things we're going to be doing, and also transmit a Dharma talk. Dharma in Sanskrit means truth. And we begin with speaking about Dharma, this truth. Now I'm going to try to keep this video between a half hour to an hour, time allotting, so we'll see how it goes. We're going to have a little tea together here too, so pull up a chair, grab your favorite tea, and let's do this. So let's take several slow, deep breaths together, in and out the nose, five seconds in, five seconds out, release, relax, let go, put your hands in prayer posture in front of heart chakra, for hands, palm facing heart over the heart, really feel into this energy, we transmit the Buddha mind, the Buddha consciousness. We'll see if Heoka come in today too. Heoka, sacred clown to our native people, our Hopi and other native cultures, the medicine of laughter, most powerful medicine. So we do slow, deep breaths and we're going to begin with the sound, the call of the dragon. So breathe, relax, let go, smile, 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 ground, ground, ground. the Trinity, the Trident. So we're going to have a very special tea today. In the Taoist arts, we say tea is our medicine. Some of the most powerful tea. There's over 150 different varieties of tea. One of our favorites, the most powerful medicine, Pu'er tea. It's like P-U, spelled P-U, like stinky. <laughs> Besides that, er, E-R-H, Pu'er. It's a black tea, fermented tea, very powerful tea. We have a little monkey on our spoon here. Scoop out a spoonful of tea and put it in our special teapot here. These come in chunks. A lot of times they come in cakes or bricks. Pu'er. Now tea, cha dao, the way of tea. We say cha ching, cha, tea in Chinese. Ching, something of great value, something of great value. Cha ching, like the money. We pull some water in here. So as many of you feel these energies coming in, we're going through great shifts, great changes, especially over the last couple months. So we're gonna step deeper into our service to humanity to our people and transmit the higher codes, the higher light. Some of the changes coming, my sacred condor and our, my queen, my sacred condor, my goddess, we plan on doing for our people that support us, our Patreon people and people send in donations, we're going to do a special healing ceremony once a month. Now this is going to be energy healing, it's distant healing. It is in the etheric. So what we plan on doing is each month we'll be 
posting at the end of the month for our tribe on Patreon, we'll be doing a special healing ceremony. This will be remote and through the etheric. Uh, there's nothing you need to do. We just ask that when we post the date and time, just confirm by saying, yes, I want to be included. We'll be doing this uh, on Patreon. And for everyone that donates any amount, the, that month, the next month, we'll be including you. But because it is a free will universe and we need your approval to be able to even send healing energy through the etherics, we'll ask you to opt in. Now, something else we'll be adding due to many changes coming in and many changes in the 3D, many changes both online and offline. We are going to start offering YouTube memberships. Seeing over the last couple months, we lost many of our uh, financial supporters. So Great Spirit is guiding us to make some changes, to add some things, to offer some other services. So we sent out a special video and Okay, okay, forgot my teacup. I had to go run and grab it here. So we're going to pour some tea, some puer. So what we released a special video. We asked our tribe on Patreon to watch that video with the changes that we're implementing over the next few weeks. And the one thing we're asking is if you still want to continue supporting us in our work and mission to we prefer you to stick with patreon over the youtube memberships one reason we know the patreon platform well and uh, patreon keeps 10 percent of the profits or the donations pledges and youtube keeps 30 percent so we're asking everyone we prefer you to stick with patreon we have been having several issues with the processing and other things, but we're trying to get that worked out. And we realize the limitation. This is being guided by Great Spirit, our guides, our higher self, to make these changes. We realized one of the limitations, one of the problems with Patreon is people only find us there through our YouTube and website. And as we've mentioned in the past, we're being shadow banned on YouTube, most of the social media sites, actually all of them now. <laughs> and what that means is that although we have many subscribers, say on YouTube, about 17,000, almost 18 on our main channel, Paul White Gold Eagle, we only receive an average of 1,500 to 2,000 views, meaning most people that subscribe don't see us. It's even worse on Facebook. We have 30,000 followers, only about 10 see our posts. So it's getting more challenging to, to attract our tribe and to get people to watch and view our teachings, practices, our arts, and our daily transmissions. So we're all doing the best we can. We're navigating through these changes and intense energies. So we're going to tell a few stories here and speak. Dharma talk is speaking from the heart. So with the YouTube memberships, we'll be doing based on what tier you're on, just like on Patreon, uh, special teachings, spiritual practices, arts, healing arts, many different things. And it'll be the same on Patreon and YouTube membership, what we'll be teaching and all the past uh, teachings from Patreon will be posting to the YouTube membership. So for instance, tier one, I'll get one extra teaching a month, tier two, two, three, three, four, and so on. We'll be having four tiers. We have the higher tier on Patreon, which you can't do on YouTube. So you can, Go to whitegoldeagle.com and check that out. So we're getting these out of the way, these updates before we go into some of these spiritual transmissions and a couple stories 
that some of you enjoy, some not so much. So we'll pull, pour our pu'er tea. We put our love, our bliss, our joy, our chi. So the healing ceremony each month, like I said, will be etheric. We'll let you all know and then we'll have you opt in. So if you're on Patreon, we'll each month, a week or two before we do the ceremony, we will let you know and then you'll opt in by just saying, yes, include me in that ceremony. So we'll do one separate for Patreon, one for our YouTube members, and then whoever sends a donation in that month, uh, the next month will include you if you want. Like we said, it's a free will, so we'll let you choose. If you do want to be included in the healing ceremony, you can also put a family member, friend, their name, or a pet, an animal. We'll include them in our healing ceremony. In the shamanic arts, we say behind every powerful medicine man is an even powerful, more powerful medicine woman. Divine feminine is the power, the forces, the masculine, yin and yang. So we say chi. We'll be doing Reiki, uh, qi gong transmission, pranic healing. We bring all the philosophies, arts, and healing arts together. So in Chinese, qi, either spelled C-H-I or Q-I, mean energy. It's ki, K-I in Japanese. In Sanskrit, it is prana or pranic healing. You can also say universal life force. So we have our own special practice, our own energy. So my powerful medicine woman, my sacred condor, will be joining me in, in that. And we'll also put a guided meditation that if you choose, you can listen to uh, during the healing ceremony. And it'll be etheric and a uh, distance healing. So we'll let you know, and there's nothing you need to do. doesn't matter where you are, what you're doing, you'll receive the healing if, if you choose to be included in that uh, ceremony for that month. So anyone that donated, sent in a donation last month of June, we'll, we'll send you an email and let you know this month, if you want to be clued, included, you'll just reply as far as Patreon and YouTube. Mm, that's delicious. From the earth, it's black like the dirt, the soil, and the depths of the ocean. So you'll just post underneath when we put the video or um, post each month. Uh, you'll just put your name, you know, or respond by, yes, include me in that. And then we already posted to Patreon, but we'll, we don't know the exact date yet, so we'll let you know on Patreon. So once this video is live, you should be able to see a join button under YouTube. Uh, if you want to join our YouTube membership, or you can go to whitegoldeagle.com to join there. And we're still in the process of trying to open our first wellness center. So right now, to be able to afford our daily cost of living, monthly cost of living, and a wellness center, we'll need to make two to three times what we are now. Our vision is to begin small and build up from there. So what we see is our first wellness center having a tachyon chamber, which is basically a room. It's Pleiadian technology, very powerful healing energy. But the cost of building this chamber, the equipment and everything needed is about $25,000. So either we have to raise those funds, which we're still trying to get grants, but uh, it's a long, arduous process. And we're being told that the government is dragging their feet, although they're private lenders still has to go through the SBA and the government, so they're dragging their feet and it's, it's making the process much longer than we were hoping. So we're still trying to go grass, grassroots, find investors, donations, whatnot. So we'll keep you up to date as, as things change and things manifest. Because with this powerful energies coming in and this awakening, this ascension, everything's accelerating, including the power of our manifestations. So I want to tell you a little story about myself. Some people um, have been with us over 10 years. 
on our YouTube channel. Some have trained with me in the past. I used to do one-on-one -on -one teachings, now mostly through Patreon. I uh, do a weekly teaching practice of a different spiritual art. Now I've trained over 30 years with many masters from Taoist, Buddhist, shamanic, shamans, healers, sages, beginning from age younger than 17, but with the masters around 17 years old. Up until about seven years ago, I've trained and I've also taught in many dojos, everything from Zen Buddhism. I train with several Zen masters, a Sensei Ogoi of the Zen Shin Sangha, I trained in Zen Buddhism, Shin Buddhism. Zen mean meditation in Japanese. I train in a temple and a monastery with Edo Roshi, Kango Roshi from Chicago. Uh, he was, Kango mean diamond. Roshi is like master teacher in uh, Zen Buddhism in China, it's called Chan, C-H-A-N, and in Sanskrit, India, Mahayana. And this is directly from the lineage of Buddha, Shakyamuni Buddha. We say Lord Gautama Buddha. And I've received mind-to-mind -mind transmissions, also directly from Buddha mind, and also from the masters. <clears throat> I've also trained in uh, with Taoist masters, uh, we say Sifu in China. It's Sensei Japan, Sifu, and Guru in India. So I've trained with Hindu masters. Also, I've studied and trained with esoteric teachings of the West, of uh, the Christian, Judea lineages, the Essene practices. Now, all the ancient teachings uh, had their own version of rainbow body. And rainbow body is... Uh, we say in Tibet, Tibetan Buddhism, Jalus. And this is what we call alchemy. Converting lead to gold was converting lead to gold was converting physical matter back to light. And we say in the teaching, everything expands as a sphere and compresses as a square. When we say everything, we mean everything in existence, everything that's manifest from the still white magnetic light at the center of all things. And that is the center of your being, your presence, or what we call the I am presence, Buddha mind, Christ consciousness. Many words point to the same truth. And we want to be very clear. When we say truth, we mean source, truth beyond all words. So we do our best as teachers, guides, way showers, to point to the truth. We say truth is beyond all words, but the human mind, the consciousness, needs the guidance, the words, to know where to look, to go within. Like Jesus Christus, people say Jesus Christ. Now Christ is a title, just like Buddha. Buddha means the awakened one. Same with Christ. Christ is awakened. That which is elevated above. Waking up from the dream, we could say Messiah is God having a lucid dream. It's realizing. We call self-realization. That's why Paramahansa Yogananda of the Kriya Yoga tradition says he called it his lineage self, the lineage of self-realization. That's realizing your true nature, which is one with source, Buddha consciousness, Christ consciousness. We say cosmic consciousness, which is ultimately pure awareness. Banke would say, Zen master, all beings are born perfectly awakened Buddhas, meaning original mind, we say empty mind, the emptiness into form. All things are intrinsically empty. All come from the void. Source, we say, great mystery. Because it's beyond all words, all concepts, all beliefs, all understanding. But we can realize this, we can experience it. But it's like trying to explain what a lemon tastes like. No words can even come close. Until you taste a lemon, we say these concepts 
our fingers pointing to the moon. Moon symbolizing enlightenment, truth. People stare at the finger, debate the concept. We say the truth is eternal, never changing. The still white magnetic light at the center of all things never change. Everything rotates around that center. But the paradox is that the center is everywhere. So within the simulation, we are here or there. That's why the, in, there's a koan in Zen Buddhism where the student went to the master and said, how do we end picking and choosing? And the Zen master, like Buddha himself, Shakyamuni, when he awakened from this dream from the matrix, he says, In the heavens and upon the earth, I alone am the world honored one. Meaning, I am one with source. I am the world, the world is me. The great sage, the great mind, Krishna Murti, would say, The world is on fire and we are the world. The world is on fire because internally in our mind, in our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions, we're on fire. And the fires are the anger, the fear. You see, I'll tell you a little piece of my story. Many of you don't know. Some that have trained with me or have followed me over the years have gotten bits and pieces. It's my story is really irrelevant. What's important is your story <laughs> or her story, his story. Their story. There were five of us taken from my father. I was the youngest of five at four years old by a psychopath reptilian named Butler. Right now I won't talk about my father. His name was Ron. He was a good man, but he had to disappear. See, there were five of us three boys, two girls, that were tortured and traumatized for seven years. It was all part of the lessons, the teachings. That's what brought me to the shamans, the teachers. You see, the five of us, my whole family, we come from a certain lineage. We're all, all negative blood. For those that don't know out there, that watch this, all negative it's what they call universal blood type. See, we can give our blood to every human being on the planet, but we can only receive from our own kind, from O negative. If we take in any other blood, our body will decease, will die. And it's part of some of the original blood of the Davidian from the Holy Grail bloodlines, but we'll get into that another day. We're trying to keep this as brief as possible. So people ask me over time, when were you red-pilled? You see that movie, The Matrix, started waking people up. A friend the other day said, if it wasn't for The Matrix, people wouldn't know we were in a simulation. I had to laugh because I say, Buddha taught this concept 2,500 years ago. <laughs> of course, it becomes popular because of The Matrix, but we call it Maya. Maya mean illusion, simulation. Doesn't mean it's bad, it just means it's not real. And how do you know the difference between what is real and what is not real or a simulation or illusion? What is real never changes. The simulation is always changing. The manifestation is always in a state of flux. So Maya, Matrika, Matrika, where matrix comes from, the word meant holy water, divine water. You can't have life without water, without heat. You see, like our divine brother of the light, the father of the condor, would say, Nikola Tesla. You see, my queen and I, my sacred condor, we lowered our soul star spark from 12th dimensional Venus, where elven, Venusian, Lyran, Vulcan, many lineages to our highest. That twelfth is our highest physical emanation from directly closest to source. Many of you resonate with this energy and many of you came from with us from Venus, from the twelfth dimension for this final mission of assisting Gaia and all her children in this great awakening, in this ascension process. 
So really feel into that energy. Put your hand to your heart. Smile and feel the energy of the new Lemuria, the new Atlantis rising from within you and externally as we journey into the Heros Gamos. You see, I came in to this realm, into this physical vessel. I also had to go through the amnesia programming, the program, for many reasons, but part of it was so I would journey through and navigate through certain energies, through the unknown, go through the suffering program so I knew it from the inside out. We had to manifest into the simulation to change it from the inside. Because beloved beings of light, many of you are realizing this now, we are the event. Now obviously there's an individual event, then there's a collective event. Enough individuals have to raise their frequency. We say the 144,000, this means many things, many different things. The 12 by 12, the 12 strand by 12, 144 code. So going through the amnesia programming, I came in with the knowledge of two things. My queen, my sacred condor, never forgot her. And knowing that this was a matrix simulation. So since a little child, I started reading about two years old. I read, I read thousands of books. My library is still back in Cleveland, a place called Lakewood, right up the street from Mary Arts. My mother's protecting the Library of Alexandria now as I speak. It is the microcosm of the macrocosm. Obviously, it's not the full Alexandria, but it was the best library I could put together. I also started drawing and painting at about four years old. Did my first rendition of Starry Starry Night, Van Gogh, when I was six years old. Then one gold key, Cleveland Institute of Art at 17, my art teacher entered a piece and thousands of pieces. There were five gold keys. But I school didn't resonate with me, just like religions didn't. Took me many years to heal from the trauma, many teachers, many guides, many gurus. I sat at the feet of many masters, trained with gold dragon masters. Gold dragons, returnable rainbow body. I trained in the mountains and in the valleys, in the deserts and the stream. I trained in the pitch black. This is one of my monk robes. This is not ego, this is just explaining why I'm here to teach and part of my mission and what I've been through over the years. Like many of you, great trauma and great bliss. <laughs> it's a rise and fall, it's the sine wave. That's what caused separation. So Nikola Tesla would say, everything is sound and light. So when we say everything expands as a sphere and compresses as a square, everything expands feminine, lin non-linear, non-physical, compresses physically, linearly. That's why we are in linear time and we're compressing. We say compression breakthrough. So think about the source of sound is the silence. And from that source, it expands. That's why you have a speaker or a little gong here. Here's the source. The two come together to create the sound and the sound wave expands 360 degrees from that source. It's like the still white magnetic light at the center we call zero point or singularity expands out. The light expands. It's a sphere 360 degrees, like a ripple in the water. You drop the pebble in the middle and the, the waves expand out, the ripples. It's the same. Everything begin in the beginning was the word, the sound, the frequency, the resonance. And it expands. That sound reaches a certain frequency, become light. The light reaches a certain frequency, resonance, becomes a particle, becomes physical matter. So we're raising our frequency to return to the light, to the frequency. And we can use sound, sound to heal, sound to raise our vibration. That's why music is very powerful. Instruments are very powerful. So we live our life as art. Our life is a symphony, is a great orchestra. 
We live our passions. I've always had a passion for music. I play guitar, flute. Some of you heard me over the years play guitar. Uh, I used to make Native American flutes for years. Also transmitted to me from Hunabaku, which is the great central sun, is the gnosis of double chamber whistling vessels. Not many people keep that knowledge. Maybe one day I teach it, but the whistling vessels that the shamans would use in the Mayan and the Incan, the Aztec, they all used the sacred whistle for the frequency, the sound. So I may, I uh, used to make for many years uh, Native American flutes and shakuhachi. Shakuhachi, a Japanese flute, uh, it's bamboo, made out of bamboo, like the, the root and the lower stalk. And obviously, I, many woods. My favorite wood for native flute was the, they call eastern cedar or aromatic cedar. So it's the sound, the frequency, the resonance. That's why we see in the Schumann, that's the frequency of the earth. Now we have to be very clear, the, the bass tone resonance, 7.3 to 7.8, the hippocampus in the brain, which is the doorway to our memories, resonates at that same frequency. So as the frequency is rising, it's changing the hippocampus, it's changing the chemicals in the brain, the frequency, the resonance within the, the center of the brain the cortex, the core is the, the sacred glands, the pineal and the pituitary, they pulse together, usually out of harmony, but now they're pulsing, they start to pulse. And as you do your meditations, we say Buddha, holding the pearl between the thumbs. So we go into the stillness, the silence, deep within, we tap into the source energy, the infinite creative potential. And really feel our way. We're raising in our frequency. So as this resonance raises, this is part of why these mandala effects, not only our memories are changing, but time's changing, the past is changing, the future is changing. And we can time travel. I'm trained also in quantum jumping to jump to different timelines to bring into this timeline. You see, <clears throat> based on the, the knowledge and the theory, the gnosis, gnosis mean knowledge, we see the quantum field and all the different timelines coming together. Based on the holographic nature of the universe, one piece is the whole, it's a fractal. Based on quantum physics, holographic theory, fractal theory, and simulation theories that this consciousness, this simulation, this realm is evolving in time. And we have reached that critical mass, we have reached the ninth level of the sacred Mayan pyramid, which is unity consciousness, to make it possible for us to create heaven on earth, create the physical conscious heaven. We say the myth of Eden, that was paradise in an unconscious state. Like Paramahansa Yogananda would say, we're all seeking the same thing, which he called eternal bliss consciousness. What good is bliss? joy, love. If you're unconscious, you don't experience it. Many people come to me over the years with different theories and fears, such as, should I be afraid of this? Should I be afraid of that? You know, especially lately, you know, with this virus and the scamdemics and the, the cons, the, should I be concerned with technology of man. No, you shouldn't be concerned. If you listen to my channel over time, there's one thing that I state over and over. There is nothing to fear, not even fear itself. We take it to the next level. Why be afraid of fear? Like Alan Watts said, you're adding a new layer to the problem. 
it's a problem and fear itself is not a problem it's it's a guide it lets us know if we shouldn't touch this hot plate or we shouldn't jump off that cliff without a rope without a bungee cord and i say i'm not jumping off even with a bungee cord see oh negative oh negative uh most old negatives <laughs> have horrible vertigo. <laughs> we don't like heights too well. There's a reason for that. Won't get into it today. But it's one of those things. You just deal with it. You know, we navigate through. Been in some crazy situations at crazy heights. And the pool air gets better. We say the. The magic is in the second pour. That's the golden elixir. See, the gold is the Christ consciousness. It is the divine alchemy. Okay, and we're back here. My camera just told me it reached maximum recording length. So <laughs> we're back at it here. <clears throat> So let's talk a minute about this great ascension process. Many people come to me and ask, when is the event going to happen? It's like asking, when is rapture? When is rapture going to happen? We know we are very close, very soon. All the signs are here. We are living prophecy. Now the Eagle Condor prophecy was encoded in me from a Mayan elder many moons ago. I wanted nothing to do with it, truthfully, but Great Spirit had other plans for me. Of course, I did my part in the awakening and this ascension and 5D and bringing truth to the world as best as I could. And we have reached this precipice but around 2019 or earlier, I was preparing Rainbow Body to leave this realm. But a team of light workers came to me and showed up at my back door at my office in Cleveland to let me know my mission was not complete here. I didn't know my queen was here yet. <laughs> I looked everywhere since I was a child. I used to joke. Like Olivia Newton-John, I was in love with her as a kid, like many of you. She had the most beautiful voice. I said, that's the closest voice to my queen, my sacred condor. Then once I heard her voice and her sing, I said, not even close. <laughs> so many of you have heard her, and the spirit made one of her songs, Song of an Angel, the sound. I heard the sound of just tears poured out of my eyes. I was in a portal back in Cleveland. My nephews had to keep me in this realm. I was returning home to 12D Venus. Enough's enough. <laughs> I know enough is enough. Enough is enough. We have suffered enough. We don't need any more signs or synchronicities or whatnot. So my grandfather was coming to this clear audience, tell him, you have to help Paul. Tell him it's, his time's not up. I activated the rainbow body protocol and was in between worlds preparing to return home. You see, my friend Pete, he's a great man very clear audience. I didn't know him at the time, but he said, my grandfather, who's working with the archangels, won't leave him alone until he come talk to me. So he, he told me, you know, my mission's not up. I had to do the harmonic convergence ceremony, which many of you saw, and then after that, my reunion with my sacred condor. Now I'm out here in the Pacific Northwest. completing my mission with my queen. See, Pete is a very 
amazing human, one of our angels. He's worked with Archangel Mikael since he was a child. He tr trained to be a priest, but then became a lawyer. His father was an attorney general, and he was good friends with some of you know Trafficant, who was exposing the Dark Ones, the Cabal, and they took him out of this realm. And my friend would gamble with some of these we call the White Hats, Earth Alliance people, and the Dark Ones tried to roll them under the bus, so they tried to get my friend to snitch on him. This was many years ago, 20, 30 years ago. He was an attorney at the time, and they put him in solitary confinement for 30 days to, de to try to break him. He wouldn't break, he wouldn't snitch. So they took his legal license and he basically lost everything. And 30 days in solitary confinement breaks the Geneva law, the G Geneva Convention, it's considered torture. But they don't care, you know that. They've tried to take us out many times. The reptilian Butler, see I kept his name, it was like a battle wound, like a scar to say I survived the reptilian. Then another reptilian came out, came in when I was 12 to try to take me out. and. That's when I was going through a death. He was trying to choke me out. That's what, they, that's what those reptilians like to do. They like to suffocate you. It's slow and see the pain in your eyes, but we laugh at them because they made a big mistake because that's when Crazy Horse came in, who's my divine brother of the light, one of my teachers and guides. And from that point on, from 12 to now, I became untouchable because if I, my physical body felt pain, Crazy Horse stepped in and I became Crazy Bear. And I was one of the most angriest demons this world had ever seen by the time I was 17. And that just means the deepest anger you could feel after years of trauma and torture. I became very powerful, superhuman strength. My brother John, who we had each other's back for 47 years. Now been in this realm 49. He witnessed me several times break the laws of physics when Crazy Horse came in. One time I kicked through a, a cinder block concrete wall when I was 17. Mastered several kicks, one of Bruce Lee's kicks. He trained with him when I was younger. His spirit would come to me. But I had to learn to control the anger, control the fear, the pain. I went from the angriest demons. Sensei Ogoi pulled me out of the deepest, darkest hell, the hell of the angry demons, and converted my awareness, my mind, my body, my spirit. Then I became the most frightened animal. Had to go through years of trauma, panic attack, fear to go to the shamans, the healers. That was all part of the process, as many of you have gone through. Some of you had it worse than me, I'm sure. I've talked to many of you over the years. Whoops. <laughs> So, <clears throat> we had to go through the three hells to experience what we're not, and then to activate the bliss body. It's like I say, we fell asleep all for the joy of waking up. So at 11 years old, friend and his parents took me out west. It's the first time I left Cleveland. And the first day we arrived in Texas, close to the border. I almost died from Montezuma's revenge. And the next day the sh a shaman, we were in Juarez, found me in, in the crowd, came up and touched me on the cheek and said, you are the golden one, the golden child that will change the world. I didn't know who I was at that time or why I came. <laughs> then several days later, I was taken to the Navajo. And the beautiful children, they saved me. One of the young men transmitted the dance of the eagle. The sacred eagle danced to me and I danced with the Navajo children. The elders always knew who I was before I did. I could go to any powwow 
went to many over the years, and the elder men, they say, brother, it's been a while. They never met me in this realm before, but they know who White Gold Eagle is. White Gold Eagle is my 12th dimensional, Alvin Venusian name. They said, it's good to see you again, brother. I said, good to see you again, too, Bro Thor of the Light. I know we all miss our home, but this become our home, and we're going to transform. We are transforming this realm. We're on the verge. We don't know when the event, we know the event is soon, and we are the event. It's like watching a sun go supernova. You don't know the moment of that explosion, of that infinite expansion in this now rainbow body is physical body going supernova. So we see it, we watch, we practice our arts, and we go deeper and deeper within into that still center, our true self, our true nature. Until full compression breakthrough, that's when we, our awareness fully goes into the zero point, this still white magnetic light at the center of all things, into our ex infinite expansion in this now. So in our lineage of called Kun Lun, I trained in many arts, shamanic arts. I trained in Kunlun, Mao Shan. I trained with the Mao Shan master. In China, they say a thousand spares cannot stop one Mao Shan master because it's sorcery, it's power, it's magic combined with martial arts. I trained in Demak Shaolin. Demak means death touch. Many of the masters believe that's what took Bruce Lee out. He fought a Demak master. When you strike a acupuncture point, depending on time, day, and what point, it can take someone out. A day, a week, a month. See, I was raised in great violence, so I had to learn to fight and defend this vessel. But now I'm a peaceful warrior. I haven't had to fight since I was young. But I still train, you never know. <laughs> it's like we hope that we don't have to go down that path. You see, before I left Cleveland, my brother was very worried because he thought the reptilians might try to take over. So I had to demonstrate what I would do to them if that happened. And his eyes got big and he's, wow. I said, you, you know what we're all about, but we're not going to have to go down that path. That's the old way. The new way is from the heart, being the love that I am here and now. We still have the warrior within us, <laughs> but it's the peaceful warrior. We walk the path with heart, being connected, living from our heart, being connected to all things. And we're re resolving, releasing. We say all beings, all things are perfectly resolved in the unborn mind of Buddha because in that unborn mind, in our pure awareness, there are no conflicts, there is no duality, no separation. And that's what we're becoming, walking avatars of light, Buddha, conscious beings. The Master says, if you see Buddha on the road, kill him. It's symbolic. It's a symbolic death, like shamanic death. Because the thing is, brothers and sisters of the light, you cannot see, taste, touch, or Buddha. So if something says, that's Buddha, that's Buddha, here, there, it's confusing. We go directly to source and the I am presence. Say, I am the way, the truth, and the light. I am the way in. I am pure awareness. Not many people can point to that pure awareness, but I say now that pure awareness your Buddha consciousness, is that what is listening to these words right now and how perfect, awake, and aware. As you listen to my voice, if you hear the crow outside calling, you don't have to tell yourself it's a crow or debate. It's a crow. No, it's a plane. It's a it knows perfectly without you having to explain without you having to talk it into it, your mind, your awareness, your perception, it knows. 
There is no debate in truth, and the truth is eternal and unchanging. See, there's a difference, Barry Long explained this well, the difference between what is true and the truth. The truth is eternal, never changing. What's true changes. What's true today could be false tomorrow, like that tree has leaves out there. That's true. But the winter, the leaves fall. Now that tree doesn't have leaves, but it's still a tree. That's the truth. But it goes even beyond that. See, as a guide, as a teacher, as a shower of the way, my only job is to take you all the way to Source, to Wakantanka, the great spirit, the great mystery. You keep going through and through and through until full compression breakthrough, when everything shuts down, when everything returns to the void, to the silence. See, many of you feel the calmness in my voice. Some people don't like it. I'm not here to impress or... <laughs> Because of my voice, it's a voice potentially you heard in the void saying, this is eternity. This is it. I am eternal. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And so because that's egotistical. I alone and the world honored one? No, this has nothing to do with ego. And ego is neutral. See, the ego can take on two faces the false self, the false ego. The ego is the I am, it is self-awareness. But it is not good, bad, right or wrong, it is neutral, just like energy is neutral. It doesn't pick and choose. But the, that pure awareness, the I am, can be converted to the two faces, the two false. So it's the extremes, it's like extreme conservative, extreme liberal, you know these extreme ideologies they don't serve that's why the Buddha created the middle path the path with heart so the two faces self-importance I'm better than everyone this is less than me this is greater or self-pity everyone's better than me I'm not good enough I'm not worthy you are worthy I am worthy you say because I am that I am. There is no separation. So when we say I am and you're not, that's self-importance. Jesus Christos never said that. Buddha never said that. <laughs> you know, the great teachers over time, Lao Tzu, Confucius say, you are the bright virtue. Namaste, namaste is the God within me witnesses the God within you because my awareness is your awareness. There's one awareness. But it goes even beyond that, because one intrinsically means the many, many, the one. So the Zen master will say not two, because it's not this and it's not that. It's both and it's neither. That's why they say mu, M-U, not a thing. It's not something and it's not nothing. And these are still fingers pointing to the truth, to the awareness of I am. Go within and find it now, the kingdom of heaven within. The kingdom of God is at hand. Because the kingdom is everywhere, everywhere that I am. That's the omniscience, the omnipresence. See, the, there's minds of men that try to talk you out of it. Say, you're not divine, you're a sinner, you're this, you're that. You don't deserve heaven unless if you pray or this or whatever, repent. Now, obviously, living from the heart, we don't harm others, you know. We don't do it because we're afraid of going to hell. We do it because it's right. Not that there's right and wrong, ultimately, because truth is beyond right and wrong, but living in this 3D vessel, we know to serve each other is right, to, to take, to deceive, to hurt. It's wrong. It's not the right path. And all of you know that that watch this. But we explain this because maybe a dark force or the ignorant, the stupidity might come to this channel. <laughs> Those are the false nefarious ways that try to imprison consciousness that created the slavery system. But ultimately it was all to serve the higher good. Some of you remember creating the Archons. They're like the, the prison guards. They keep the story going long enough 
for consciousness to evolve. They serve their purpose and now we're relinquishing them from their job. We're saying, you're free. You no longer need to keep this game going. The game's over. You did your job well. Thank you. We thank those that trespassed against us because it was all part of the lesson. It was all what strengthened us to, to help us navigate through this unprecedented time where we have to stay conscious through this process. We don't fall asleep again. We don't get tricked by the illusion and the delusion. We don't fall into the time loops and the false timelines. We are free. I am free. I'm here now free because I am that I am. And I always am. I never was. I might have believed in the false projections, the interference patterns, but now, no, we know better than that because we are awakened in the light. So we're going to end this talk. It's getting about that hour time, close to an hour. Take me time to edit this video, upload, and all the other work. So ultimately, the purpose was to give you a little piece of my story, let you know what I'm teaching on Patreon and these other avenues, and we'll continue doing our daily transmissions as long as I can. And I wanted to thank you all, too, from my heart to you, yours for supporting us in this great mission in many ways. Those that share our videos, that comment, that like, that send our messages to friends, family, those that support us financially, because without your financial support, we wouldn't be able to do this work. I wouldn't be able to continue bringing these transmissions to the world. And so our main supporters on Patreon, thank you very much. Those that donate money, thank you. We're very grateful. We appreciate each and every one of you. And we look forward to continue to serve you in the future. We have many powerful things coming, many powerful healings. See, this is the process. We're always in a process of healing. The ascension is never ending. We keep raising, raising. There's no plateau to bliss. Thankfully, there is a plateau to suffering, and we reach way beyond that, brothers and sisters of the light. Our great sisters and bro Thors, our Earth Angelic Ground Crew are the 144. So we look forward to continue to serving you and to send this healing energy. This is the next phase, the next level of my Queen and I, our service, which we begin now with you know, our Patreon members, our tribe on Patreon, and those that donate. We only have so much chi. Every day we cultivate our chi, our energy with our practices and our arts. So we'll do in three different sessions, one for our Patreon, one for our YouTube members, and then one for our, our people that donate. And then we'll do special things for the collective that we we'll release to all of you, like our guided meditations, and we have many things to come. My sacred condor will do some more songs, some more guided meditations. She transmits the Magdalene energy, our divine Magdalene, our divine goddess, feminine, sacred condor energy with her voice, her light language, and her songs, and her love that she transmits through her heart to all of you. Because brothers and sisters of the light, the eagle and the condor love you all. So thank you for watching this video. Thank you for sticking through this with us. I know it's been a great challenge and many of you are exhausted, but we're right at the, the end of this cycle. We don't know the day or time, so I can't tell you tomorrow, the next day, but we know we're very close. All of us on our closest team are seeing it. We're having the visions. I've been fully to 5D. I know exactly what it is. Many of our people, many of my closest angels are there now that had to leave this realm on their great mission, that are watching, that are working with us. 
helping elevate this realm because Gaia is rising. The, obviously, Gaia is always ascending and always raising in her frequency and her love and her gifts to all of you and to us, our team. We're raising with Mother Earth, with Pachamama, into the 5D. And that is true. No one is left behind. We didn't come on this mission to pick and choose. You get to come, just like some of these religious dogmas, philosophy. If you believe this, you come, you stay, you know, no, 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 no. <laughs> because we are all one. We don't leave any aspect of ourselves behind to be trapped in the prisons of the false projections. It's nonsense. Now, maybe not everyone go at once, but once we reach critical mass, we are at critical mass now, but once we make the quantum shift and this whole realm is uplifted to 5D, that which is of the lower density returns to source, returns to the unborn mind of Buddha, to the gold light, the center into the white light, to be transformed, transmuted, transcended which is what the process we're all going through now with our internal journeys and our practices, our arts. So again, thank you all very much for joining me today. Thank you all that have supported us over this year, many years. We have over 2,000 transmissions on Paul White Gold Eagle. We created Prime Disclosure as a backup to, because YouTube has shut down our channel in the past, so, we, so it was a backup. So. We'll see what happens, and part of the experiment of the also the YouTube memberships is to see maybe the AI at YouTube will start working with us against then against us. We'll see what happens. We don't know until we know. You know, you never know until you know, until you live out that experiment. Like our great bro of the light, Buckminster Fuller, would say, live life like an experiment. He invented the geodesic domes and the buckyball and many other things, a great genius, because he knew this, this realm is an experiment. We're experimenting with what it feels like to be separate from source, the experience. It's like if you're all-knowing, all-encompassing, all omniscient, omnipresent, what do you do with the void? You sit in the void. You're not going to sit in the dark and nothingness for all eternity doing nothing. You're going to experiment. You're going to live out all these potential possible sequences and projections and simulations and see how far you can take and we've taken it to the farthest edges now it's time for us to retire from the experiment and live out our eternal bliss consciousness of the new earth uh, the new heaven upon the new earth so thank you for joining me today beloved beings of light we appreciate you and are grateful for each and every one of you and thank you for joining us on this great mission I know it was a great challenge, but you stepped up and into your sacred role. And we continue to transmit our love, our light to all beings, all sentient beings of the way of Pachamama. Have a most beautiful and blessed ascension process. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste. Aho.